Hello, good afternoon. English for Year 6, Teaching Week 34, Date 23rd of April 2020. Topic on Comprehension. Hello, children. Welcome back. This is video 5. So, today I would like to touch on Unit 10, Heart of Gold, page 57 and 58. Okay, so what are we going to do in this Unit 10? So, we're going to do read the newspaper articles, learn how to use direct and reported speech, revise how to express past, present and future times, learn more phrasal verbs, learn about online newspapers and write a newspaper report. You're going to be a reporter soon. <laughs> okay, so before you read, recall an occasion when you did or took part in something that would benefit someone else. So, in this case, uh, have you done anything that uh, bring happiness, uh, help someone, okay? Why did you do it? How did you feel after you did this good deed? So as you read this, the following newspaper reports, try to put yourself in the shoes of the people mentioned in the report. So you have to make yourself part of it, okay? I want you to feel the person, okay? What made them do, this, do the things they did? So this is a... Uh, newspaper report it is from my Paul's time it was uh, dated on Tuesday 20th September 2005 page 3 so in a newspaper always remember it must have a headline so in this case memories of hard times prompt 1.5 million donation okay when there's a headline there will be a small headline to explain roughly what is this article all about so what I want you to read is, uh, what I want you to do is, I want you to read this newspaper article, okay, until the very end. Okay, after you read, the reporter writes, okay, who is the reporter? Normally, the reporter, it will be written, very, very small, right here, by Karen Moses, okay. So the reporter writes about three people in the article above, so... Please identify those three people. Which of them is the most charitable? Okay. Give reasons for your answer. Imagine that you are going to interview Mrs. Vaz, Mr. Chan and Madam Supar. Write three questions you would want to ask each of them, which you don't have to, but I want you to think a little bit. Okay, what are the questions that you would ask Mrs. Vaz, Mrs. Mr. Chan and Madam Supar? regarding that article okay so once you have done this reading all you need to do is open up your workbook okay page 51 and 52 okay so i want you to answer this question 10 questions objective questions all you have to write the correct answer in the brackets okay so I hope you would not have you would not have any problem because the answers can be taken directly from the article. Okay, so that's all about in this video. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.